One day after Mayor Ravi Bala introduced the Public Safety Task Force, whose goal is to prevent future unruly bar crawls throughout the city, multiple bar owners attended last night's city council hearing, two of whom who spoke before the council expressing their frustration that the Public Safety Task Force will penalize them even further. As a city council, I think you know the, there's a problem with the bars, restaurants in town. Maybe you guys should come talk to us first. Uh, there's some good ones, there's some bad ones. Obviously, as wrote or as, as it is, I try to be a good one. I'm here 19 years in town. Uh, I don't try and run my business for one day on these Santacons and Leprechauns or whatever it is, but. Uh, 365. I try and, you know, neighbors, so respectful of them. Uh, I want to work together with city council, with the new mayor. Uh, but if we're just excluded, you guys throw a quick resolution together, a quick ordinance together, we feel like outcasts. So if there's problems, there may be better solutions that we can provide that works for everybody. But excluding us out of any negotiations and putting a task force. It just, it sounds like you're going to come down hard and heavy on us where we want to work. There's a bunch of all here that want, you know, we want to work together. Mr. Mr. Right. Mr. Thank you. Mr. Boyd, just so you, just so you know, and other members, there was no, there were no sponsors for the ordinance. It was placed on the agenda the request of the mayor. The task force was created at the mayor's request, not the council's request. Uh, the issue before us is going to be placed in public safety committee, which is chaired by Mr. Doyle, and he will work in conjunction with members of the council, the mayor's office, the task force, and business owners in town as well, because everyone's a stakeholder in this. Uh, obviously, uh, there were issues with last Anacon, and we just want to see improvements upon that. I think uh, the, you guys want to see improvements upon that too, we believe. So that everyone working together collaboratively, let's move forward in the right direction to find a proper solution for all parties involved. That's the goal. But uh, we were excluded just as much as you guys were as well. So Okay. For the bar owners, we get every day, we have a town council analysis there um, in the zoning department. I have a lady coming. We don't want beer signs. You can't have soup signs. You can't have your specials outside. You can't have the picture of your nice Sunday. You can't have anything. So the more and more we turn around, it's like, besides the parking, right? It's if we put out an A-frame, it says you know soups, whatever the case may be. We we have to. They write us a fine. If we put a sign in the window that says Coors Light, we have to we have to take it down. Uh, it, it doesn't make any sense. That's We're a, trying. That's a zoning office like uh, it's a zo They're enforced by the zoning officers. Can you wrap up, Mike? I'm sorry, Mike. I'm sorry. But the point of the matter is, as, as much as you guys think that we do a lot of bad things in this town, I think I looked at some of these tavern sheets. It's 1% of, with all the liquor license that we have. We do a lot of good things. For instance, when the train crashed, I opened up my establishment for everybody. James Doyle, councilman at large, then responded to the bar owners saying that he would be willing to meet with them so that they have an opportunity to air out their grievances and also to hear their concerns about Mayor Ravi Bala's public safety task force. I, uh, I spoke with Mayor Bala earlier today, and obviously this ordinance was pulled. It may have, uh, I, I think, a fair amount of thought went into it on the city's behalf. It wasn't just hastily thrown together, but clearly not enough communication was occurred between the bar owners and uh, the administration. The task force is a representation of an effort to cure that and to get this right. Uh, plus, as Council President already alluded to, the is the, the public safety subcommittee of the city council with uh, Councilwoman Falco on my left and Councilwoman Russo. Uh, we're going to get involved in this process to the extent appropriate with regard to the Faulkner Act and whatnot. But we, I, as, as we did with the 500 foot rule, I think we would entertain a meeting for bar owners to come and air their grievances, as, as they say in Festivus, um, and us to try to work. I mean, I, I don't. I don't know that we see it as a negotiation, but I think clearly, uh, and I speak for myself only and maybe our fellow committee members, that you know, I have a lot to learn from the bar owners. Uh, I'm sure that the police force knows much, much more than I do about the operations. Um, but we, we want to work with you, but we also would like to try to do this expeditiously.
This is Mark Busnich reporting from Hoboken City Hall for Hudson County View, the eye of the community.